We will now talk through WeWalk's obstacle detection feature. The obstacle detection feature works in conjunction with your white cane and mobility skills to notify you of above ground obstacles. These could include signposts and low hanging tree branches. You can also use the obstacle detection feature for novel applications, for instance, in the maintenance of social distancing or to detect revolving doors or the opening of elevator doors. The system works by emitting ultrasonic waves from the ultrasonic sensor mounted at the front of WeWalk. The sensor then detects where obstacles are located and, using a vibration motor built into WeWalk, notifies you via vibrations that there is an upcoming obstacle. It is therefore very important that you do not obstruct or cover the ultrasonic sensor. This is a cylindrical hole mounted right below the touchpad, close to where WeWalk connects to the standard white cane. Obstacle detection is enabled by default when WeWalk is turned on every time. Additionally, you do not need to be connected to your smartphone to use obstacle detection. You will, however, need to connect WeWalk to the WeWalk smartphone app in order to change the sensitivity of the WeWalk obstacle detection feature. To do this, simply connect your WeWalk and change the obstacle detection distance under the Preferences tab. You can also enable or disable the feature from this menu. When using the WeWalk obstacle detection feature, we recommend that you position your thumb on the two tactile buttons located just above the touchpad. This will allow you to better differentiate vibrations from the ground through WeWalk's main body versus vibrations from the haptic motor for obstacle detection built into WeWalk. When using obstacle detection, WeWalk will emit a continuous strong vibration if any obstacles are detected. Therefore, if you are walking down the street, for instance, and you detect a vibration, you should swipe your cane left or right to detect where that obstacle is. You can also use this for shorelining. For instance, if you detect a continuous vibration whilst we walk is swiped left, you can therefore infer that there is a wall or a fence to your left. The best way to get to know WeWalk's obstacle detection feature and to find out what works best for you is to simply go out and try it. Experiment with different sensitivity preferences and to see which obstacles are most important to you. For instance, if you struggle with elevator doors, you can find out how WeWalk's obstacle detection vibrations change the next time you are standing in front of an elevator door as it is opening and closing. And finally, please remember that WeWalk's obstacle detection feature is not a replacement for good orientation, mobility and cane skills. We therefore recommend that you seek orientation and mobility training before solely relying on WeWalk's obstacle detection feature.